Firstly, we are going to start off with an in-depth review of the Widex Compass Cloud software that is used to program the new Widex Allure hearing aids. This software represents a significant shift in how we program hearing aids and the Compass Cloud software is fully cloud-based and accessed through a login and password system. So this means there's no longer a software sitting in your NOAA system. This means you'll need to have your login credentials handy every time you want to program a Widex Allure hearing aid. Widex has assured us that the software is designed to function even in very variable internet environments and it can be used with 3G and the software is quite stable. So this means that if things disconnect because of poor connectivity, the software will save the current settings and once you've reconnected, you can pick up right where you left off, which is really essential for audiologists who are working in environments with a fluctuating internet access. Now, let's talk about the fitting prescriptions. Currently, the Compass Cloud software only supports the Widex fitting rationale. Unfortunately, it lacks other evidence-based fitting, such as NEL, NL2 or DSL V5, which can be vital for certain populations, for example, for fitting this hearing aid to children. When I programmed these hearing aids for a mild hearing loss, I was, however, easily able to adjust the parameters to give me the frequency spot response and gain required to match the DSL V5 fitting prescription. I have not yet programmed these hearing aids to NEL NL2. I also have not programmed these hearing aids for a moderate or a severe hearing loss, so I can't yet comment on how these instruments can be tweaked in terms of output and frequency response to match a given fitting formula. Now, moving to the receiver options. The Allure hearing aids come with two receiver types. The M receiver, which is suitable for hearing losses up to approximately 85 to 90 dB on the audiogram, and the P receiver, which can handle hearing losses up to about 110 dB in the higher frequencies. However, it's really important to note that if the P receiver is used in the fitting, then the pure sound program becomes unavailable. So this creates a limitation in the hearing aid and therefore is probably most suitable for someone with a mild to moderate hearing loss and whose fitting range fits within the M receiver parameters. So now regarding the acoustic coupling of the hearing aids, there are a variety of domes and custom tips or custom molds that can be attached to both the M and the P receivers. So this does allow the audiologist quite a range and uh, the ability to select the correct type of acoustic coupling for that given hearing loss. Once uh, these parameters have been selected, the next step is to carry out a feedback check. One ear is done at a time, and this will establish the feedback parameters for each hearing aid, given the hearing loss and the acoustic coupling of the devices. Now, moving on to the fitting screen, there are only three slots available for programming these hearing aids. The first program slot will be the universal program, the second slot is for the pure sound program, and the third slot is for the music program. There is no telecoil option available in this hearing aid. There are, however, two further slots which can be programmed. For example, we can copy and paste the pure sound program into one of these three slots and tweak it to perform in a slightly different way. These hearing aids do not have frequency transposition or frequency compression available in them. Now, the cloud programming interface has been significantly simplified, and this means that certain settings, such as being able to see the compression ratio, are no longer accessible. And I think this can be quite limiting, especially for audiologists who prefer to see how linear or how compressed the amplified sound may be for a particular patient with a given hearing loss. So uh, the Compass Cloud software does enable some other adjustments to be made to the adaptive features. So the audiologist can tweak the feedback suppression, the microphone array and microphone directionality, the speech enhancement and noise reduction algorithms, as well as adjusting the sudden noise impulse sound reduction and wind reduction uh, programs. 
These tools allow the audiologist to therefore fine tune and optimize the hearing aid performance for a given patient. Now, the final thing to talk about is setting up and programming how the buttons on the back of the hearing aid will function. The buttons can be programmed for volume and or for program changing. However, users should note that the indication that one has changed program is tonal. And this can get some getting used to, especially if someone has been used to the speech prompts uh, that tell a patient which program they're in. So to wrap up, the Compass Cloud fitting software is very user friendly and functional. However, it does lack some of the advanced features such as being able to view the compression ratios and the availability of evidence-based prescriptions such as the NAL-NL2 or the DSLV5 prescription.